Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. This evening not so at home to Ball and Wood. It's the first time this season that Knox will play a, a team in the league twice. The first game at Meadow Park ended 2-1 to Knox. NGO Ball and Sam Ross Ball were the goal scorers. Knox really need to get back to winning ways tonight. We've lost our last two games and we've slipped to four points off the playoffs. It's not a massive gap. But we need to start picking up our form. Also, after this game, that's halfway through the season already. And we're not even in December yet. That's mad to think. Come on, Knox. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Apologies if the intro seemed a bit rushed. I've been in Nottingham all day. I've gone from work to Weatherspoons to Meadow Lane. I've got a bit of a cold as well, so I don't feel that great. Yeah, the team news is out. Doyle and Rose are in central midfield together. Sean Shields replaces Regan Booty on the wing. Yeah, apart from that, it's the same team from Saturday. I would have liked to see Regan Booty in centre mid and Sam Osborne on the wing. But at the end of the day, Neil Arthur is the manager. And it's up to him what, what team he picks. And it's in. Too much space! It's one all. Richard Brunley with the cross, Kyle Watson with the header. Off the post and in. We've been a little bit better since we scored. We just, we just had a good move going for them here. Rawlinson, Rawlinson to Turner to McCrory. That's just like, it's basically one touch and then pass almost. And that's how, that's how quick it should be. That's how quick we should be moving up the pitch. Because sometimes, well, most of the, a lot of the time, it takes too long to decide what to do and where to pass it. started running at players 
Penzio started getting the ball, Brindley supported a little bit more. Um, and really two goals that, that I don't know that we really deserve. I don't think we deserve to be behind either too much. I think mean, it's a fairly even game really. Early second half. Good work by Enzio down the wing. Here he is again. It's an early cross. It's cleared. Yeah, Thomas got in front of his defender. Thomas got in front of his car. That's excellent. Closing down Kyle Wilson. That's the minimum of the expert. It's hard work. Yeah, Thomas got in front of his defender. And his header went over the bar. But yeah, we're doing well in closing down ball and wood. The difference in intensity levels from the first 25 minutes to now is mad, to be honest. Just under 10 minutes to go. It's still 2 on knots. Just hope we can see this out now. We'll maybe get a third. Tyson has come on for Thomas. Oh, I asked. Who is he? Who's my name? Slocum. Turner hasn't been turned by that striker all game. The one time he does do it, he's through on goal in the 90th minute and we give away a penalty. Rawlinson's red card over down to 10 then. Oh, just so, so. Annoying. We needed this win as well. Don't look like we're going to get it. Hey lads. And for all the fact the first half really was so even. Um, second half, we, we just absolutely totally had control of that game. It was just a lack of concentration and a, and a mistake right at the end. Um, and we've got two points we really shouldn't have dropped. Now, whether we deserve to or not is a different thing, but we shouldn't have. Um, and it's that sort of thing that is going to see us, um, or is going to cost us if we don't start putting that right, because there are too many goals that we are just giving. So, full time, knots two, Bournemouth two. Disappointing to concede so late on in the 91st minute. A penalty earns Bournemouth a point. It wasn't the best performance, but it wasn't the worst performance either. In my opinion, I think we played better than we have done the last two games. We played poorly for the first 25 minutes. Then when we equalised, we were a lot better from then on. We got to the first ball a lot more. We, we closed Bournemouth down quite well. It's just at the end, bad game management, we rushed into things too quickly and a mistake late on has cost us three points. I wasn't expecting a wonderful free-flowing passing football performance by Knotts. We have lost our last two games and the confidence has probably took a knock. But we were so close to the win, but we've got to start cutting these mistakes out. Kyle Watson and Sean Shields were excellent. We've got to sign Kyle Watson permanently. So many times this season, he's helped us win points. Shields played very well. Energetic, made good runs down the wing. Always took on his man. Put good crosses into the box as well. After 23 games, we are ninth in the league on 32 points. We are five points off the playoffs. It's not a massive gap. It can be made up. But we have got to start performing better than we have over the last few games. We've got to cut our mistakes out in defence. We've got to... We've, we have got to... Our, te our intensity has got to be higher. It's got to be quicker. Our passing has to be a lot better. And a lot more, a, a lot more quicker as well. Certain things we can improve on. But there's another half of the season to go. And yeah. It's been... 
it's we're drawing too many games. We we need to turn them draws into wins. There's there's things to improve on, but there's been positives as well. Let's see what the other next twenty three games bring, and let's hope we can end up in the playoffs at the end of the season. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Send in your questions as well for the next vlog. Be safe, be champions, and as always, Zulush.